Hi guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a weekly plan with me, but I'm switching things up a little bit this week. As you can see, I have my Moxie Life planner here with me. I have been planning in my Erin Condren life planner, and I've used this planner as my weekly planner for, I don't know, three years now. And I've been using the hourly layout for two years, but planner season is among us, and I have been looking at all the new planners and just trying to figure out what I want for my 2021-2022 system. I usually do follow an academic year when it comes to my main planner. And I've been using the Moxie Live since January for goal setting, um, along with my Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets, but I've pretty much been letting the weekly pages go to waste. There have been a few weeks here and there that I have tried to use it, but it just kind of felt like it was not necessary. I just felt like I was trying to use too many planners and too many things. So long story short, I need to figure out if I'm going to stay in my life planner and buy another hourly or if I'm going to try a completely new planner or maybe just switch my layout. So I think really what it comes down to is I'm just bored with my current planner. Um, I just haven't been excited to plan in it. And I think it has a lot to do with just the layout and using the same stickers. And I think I'm just getting bored. So I think stepping out of an hourly um, and possibly using a vertical layout um, will be similar, but just different enough that I may like it. So we're going to go ahead and do my plan with me in this planner. And I'm a little nervous because I've mentioned before that I feel very strongly about actually finishing a planner out and using all the pages, but I'm getting to the end. And if I don't start trying things out in other planners, then I'm just not going to have things figured out when I need to start a new one. So we're gonna try out a week in my Moxie Life. So this is kind of how I've been using it already. If you've been watching my channel for a while, this year in some of my plan with me's, I did incorporate my goal setting in it. But um, I did fill out my weekly reflections. I kind of took the month of March off of goal setting and then I didn't hardly use my Moxie Life in April either. Um, but start of May, I jumped back in here. So. I did my weekly reflections and then over here I have my weekly action items for each category um, in my goals. And if you watched my weekly actions before, I always really struggled with getting them narrowed down and I'm getting better about the idea of little by little and not trying too many things at once. So I'm not really gonna go into a whole lot of detail about what my weekly action items are. If you're if that's something that intrigues you or that you're interested in hearing when I do my plan with me is definitely let me know down in the comments. But if I don't feel like enough people are interested, then I'm not going to spend time during my plan with me going over those. But anyway, those are my weekly actions. And then in my weekly pages, I've just been leaving them blank. So in the past, I have had weeks where, let's see, yeah, weeks where I've basically just created checklists um, and categorize them by goal category. Um, and I both loved this and didn't. I just think for how big this planner is, I like having something small to carry with me for checking off to do's and whatnot. So I actually have been using the a5 vertical priorities planner um, because I don't know, I just don't feel like I need a full page from a daily planner to do my to-dos. So I've been using this to kind of break down my tasks and um, it just feels like it's more convenient in the smaller size. This just felt like a lot of room. So I don't know, I had a love-hate relationship with using my planner this way um, and I loved being able to have my habit tracker here, but this vertical priorities planner also has a habit tracker that I've been able to use. So I don't know. I think if this was to be my main planner and then just have an A5 for my tasks, I might like that a little better. So 
I don't know. That's just kind of how I've how I've used it in the past. Um, but this week we're going to try and use it as my main weekly planner. And then I feel like it won't be quite as daunting to pull out my weekly planner and pull this planner out to look at my goals and all of that. It'll be nice to just kind of have it all in one place. So anyway, I've done plenty of talking. Let's just get this going. You probably saw when I opened it up, I am using planner Kate and I actually was not intending on using this kit this month, but I really want, want to try a Planner Kate kit in this planner, considering the fact that I use Planner Kate so much. So if I'm going to use this layout, I want to get a feel for how the Planner Kate stickers fit and function in this planner. So that's what I will be using, Mini Kit 321. It's a cute little bumblebee kit. Um, and then I have these extra add-ons as well. Now, I've watched Julie from Julie's Plans do plan with me's in this planner using Planner Kate. And so one of the unfortunate things that I don't love is the switch from the sidebar being over on the left to over here on the right. Also, this paper is so bright. I'm definitely not used to that. Um, so it's gonna be an adjustment having Monday through Thursday over here. And that means I'm also going to have to cut my strip headers to make them fit properly. So, or I could just not use the strip headers. Okay, we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna try these headers out. I was considering not using them at all, but I think we're gonna go ahead and just try them so I know what it's like trying to put them down. Okay, I feel like it looks a little odd, but we're just gonna leave it. I don't know. I might just need to go ahead and cut them up individually. I feel like I should, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna cut, be better off cutting them up individually. So we're just gonna take this off and try that. I don't think I'm gonna like being in this planner, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm still gonna give it a chance, but I think I need to shift all of these over because I'm too much of a perfectionist and this kind of looks like crap. Oh, it's getting hot. I'm gonna take off my cardigan. Oh, it's kind of warm in here. I don't know what is up with that. All right, that's I think as good as I'm gonna get it. I need to stop messing with it. Otherwise I'm gonna drive myself crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, kind of striped washi and put it up here at the top. Okay, I think I'm going to use this little guy. All right. <laughs> this is taking me so long already. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thick washi, um, do I wanna put it all the way at the bottom or do I wanna put it, I think I'm gonna put it over here. Hmm, I don't know if I love that. All right, I might move it to the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move it to the bottom. I put it there, thought I liked it, and then decided I don't. I'm telling you guys, this is just gonna be a lot of trial and error. Something I do love are all of these pointed corners. I still don't love this, but I don't know you guys. I'm really not liking this. <laughs> I know, I know, I need to give it a chance, but I don't know. 
I'm just not, just not feeling this right now. Not a bit. All right, we're gonna try and put down this B sticker. And then usually I put a checklist. It's not gonna be a very long checklist because, oh my gosh, let's just do a this week sticker. But it's not gonna be a very long checklist because it doesn't fit quite as many. And I don't know if these, ooh, it looks like, yeah, these don't fit. Ah, that's okay. They don't perfectly line up. You guys probably can't even tell. This paper is so bright that it's hard to see on camera, but oh, I don't know. I'm just really not liking this so far. So that's all right though. That's all right. We'll just um, figure it out. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is probably cover that up with washi up there. Actually, I might use these up here and just cover them up and do weather stickers. Ooh, all right. We kind of got the layout going here <laughs> 10 hours later. I think I'm gonna wait a second before I put my full boxes down because I'm not sure how I want to center them. Let's see. So usually I'll put work up at the top. Let's just start with that. So let's use these and just label that first thing in the morning is work. Oh, I don't think so. I take this back. <laughs> I don't think I want to line these up that high. You guys, this is hard. I knew this was going to be different, but I didn't know it was going to be that different. You know what I mean? This is like stressing me out. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do it like that and then just put these directly underneath. I don't know, we'll try it. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I guess that works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put we're going to use this striped washi here to layer my weekend sticker. Whew. Okay, this is like kind of stressful, not going to lie. Okay, let me grab my work stickers. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually, since I don't have my sidebar um, for meals, which is what I typically do since I have the habits here instead, I'm gonna put meals down at the bottom. And I think I'm just gonna use these yellow stickers. Is that what I wanna do? Actually, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this blue washi strip and I'm going to just kind of put use the strip like that and do another one. Maybe I should have used the yellow. I think I kind of like the yellow better. Dang it, of course I cut that a little short. Yeah, I'm gonna use the yellow instead. That did not tear off of the paper very well. Okay, I stopped to grab my Fisker's knife because I, I knew I had one, but just didn't know where it was at. And it's about time that I 
cut it out because cutting these with my scissors is just not working for me. That works so much better. All right. Okay, I'm starting to warm up to it a little bit. This feels a little bit better and less chaotic. So I think I'm gonna use my dinner stickers. Okay, so I went ahead and labeled dinner down at the bottom. I really like the way that looks. I think it's super cute and it totally serves the purpose. I do love having the extra space down here at the bottom that I am missing in my life planner. Um, when they switched to half hours in the hourly layout, I lost some of this extra room down here that I used to have. And so I kind of, kind of like this. Ah, so that's, that's a good thing, right? <laughs> but this is stressing me out. I think I might like it a little bit better if I was using a kit that's actually formatted to the Moxie Life. I hate adjusting kits to fit my planner. I just don't like it. So I need to keep that in mind as I'm going through this. Okay. Wow. That was just a lot. So next thing... I love this space blank up there, but I'm actually not really sure what I want to do with it. So, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just jump into my plans. Okay, so I'm actually filming this on, a, on Monday night because I did not have time over the weekend with Mother's Day and everything else. The entire week just snuck up on me um, and I ran out of time. So I'm filming this on Monday evening. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just label that I am filming. So I'm going to use one of these yellow stickers here or actually let's just use a purple to kind of switch up the color down here. And it's weird not having time slots, but in some ways I kind of like it. Okay. So I'll stick that there and then Oh, I feel like I'm so all over the place. And then add a film. I actually need to film and edit tonight. So actually, let's do the lowercase one. So we have a little bit more room. I changed my mind about that like 50 times. I think I'm just, just going to use the little um camera icon i i like that better than putting film and edit it is what it is okay so i would like to um try to get to the climbing gym after i get my filming done so i think i'm gonna put climbing on one of these yellow ones here and that'll be good okay moving on to tuesday Tuesday, I'm going to be kind of tutoring. It's a girl that I used to tutor and she's finishing up school. And so I'm just going to drop by and say hi and also help her with some school stuff. But it's like super informal. Anyway, I'm going to be doing that on Tuesday. And I'm just going to plan on that taking up my evening. So I'm going to put a huge box there for that. And then just put this little home icon to kind of represent going to her house. Okay. Then on Wednesday, I am going to be having dinner at my dad's house with, with my dad and my stepmom. And kind of the same thing. I'm just going to line it up with this one and plan on that pretty much taking up my evening. But then we're gonna use this little heart here. Thursday, I have small group. So small group is later into the evening and I think I'm just gonna use one of these purple ones again. 
Okay, and then Friday, I don't have any plans. Saturday is my sister's graduation, which I need to check the time on that. Okay, so my sister's graduation party, I believe, is at 2 o'clock on Saturday. So I'm just going to label it. Um, We're going to use the cute little B stickers. So that's going to be at 2 p.m. And I'm just going to put it down here towards the bottom. And actually, <laughs> I'm going to move it down like one spot. That way I can put the little balloons and we can celebrate on Saturday. Okay, that means Sunday I need to label work. I mean... Church is totally what I meant to say. Actually, I'm going to use one of the appointment labels for church. Actually, I don't like that. I'm going to move it down. Placement of these stickers is fun trying to figure out. All right. So I think something that I don't like is that when I place down my stickers and my life planner, I have space um, to kind of center them. And in this planner, there's not a lot of space. And it kind of just feels very, like, crammed, I guess. And I don't, I don't love that. I don't love that. Okay. Then the Sunday before, I'm going to try to film because... That's just what is ideal. I feel like I should have just shifted my work stickers up because I'm not really sure what to do with this space. I'm gonna put this planner time sticker down for working on my goals, and doing my check-in and all that fun stuff. So, I'm going to do something like that. Friday night, I don't have any plans. I'm going to go ahead and put the weather in here because I do have some weather stickers. I think I put them in the doodles section, maybe. Yeah, here they are. I'm just going to start with Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the first three days of the week because the weather changes its mind so fast around here. That's cute. I actually really like that. I just got to figure out what to do with this space up here at the top because, yeah, it's just not really working. Not working for me. All right, I'm gonna try and fill out the rest of what I have and just kind of see what I have left. I'm gonna wait to put my time in for church because um, I'm not sure yet if I'm singing or not. And if I am, I have to be there at an earlier time. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and write in my habits down here at the bottom. Sorry, my battery died. Um, I was just writing in my habits and then some of my to-dos over here on the side, things I need to get done this week. Um, that's all that I can really think of, so I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Added my weather at the top, really like the way that looks. Wrote everything else in. I think I am gonna shift this sticker up a little bit because I don't know when I'm gonna get done with tutoring, but I plan on going right after work. So I kind of want to leave some space later in the evening in case I want to add 
something down. So I'm going to shift that one up. I'm going to leave that one centered. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but I don't think there is. Um, I'm probably going to add up here at the top when my YouTube videos go up because I think I'm going to try and get two up this week. Fingers crossed, but I'm just going to put those up there once I actually get them up. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave that space blank. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this plane with me. Honestly, this was kind of stressful. I don't, I don't know. I know my biggest issue is the formatting of the stickers that I don't love because it just takes a lot of time trying to like fix them. And I know I would get used to it and like, I'm just not used to the way that these stickers fit. So I don't love that, but I'm trying to keep in mind that, you know, there are other shops that make stickers for the Moxie Life and... You know, I really, really love the sidebar. I wish it was over here, um, but I don't think it'll be too bad of an adjustment, but I do love having my habits there and being able to track those directly into my weekly planner. So I don't know. We're just gonna let this be for now and I will definitely let you guys know next week how it goes. Um, I don't know if I will do another plan with me in here or if I will jump back into my life planner, but uh, I don't know. This is my baby. So even though I was getting kind of tired of it, I felt myself missing it so much while I was putting this together. Um, but it's just hard anytime you try something new. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments which planner you are using for the new academic year. If that's when you start your planner, are you going to use Moxie Life? Are you going to use Erin Condren? Are you going to use something completely different? Um, I did order one of the A5 rings from Erin Condren, and I'm going to try the daily layout just to see if I like it because I didn't love the daily duo. And I think that was just partially because it was in the seven and a half by nine. And so I think I might like it in the A5. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just trying all the things, but I have not officially picked my weekly planner. So we're just going to have to stick around and see what happens. So anyway, let me know what you're using down in the comments below. Um, also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already click that subscribe button, so you know when my videos go up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights.